And then there is another one. Yeah. Yo, what's going on? How y'all doing? I am wavy. And yes, I am wavy. And also, I got some food cooking, so this one's not going to be a long one. Appreciate everybody that's been pulling up, showing support. Trying to hit that 300 goal before the year is done. All right, I'm at 291. I need nine more, all right? So if you rocking and enjoyed the content, feel free to hit that like, hit that subscription button, and drop a comment. Join the conversation. Without nothing more being said, let's get into it. Jonathan Majors. I, I wanted to wait till everything came out on this particular story because this one was big. I right? you got a dude that was in a Marvel movie making major headlines, doing his thing. I right? grinding. He releases um I believe it was the Creed movie with Michael B. Jordan and it was like right around the, the release, probably before or after, somewhere there. And he had this whole debacle take place. Whereas he was, um, I believe they were in New York City. And his girlfriend and him had a dispute. And it ended up going viral. I Before we get into all that, because we're going to cover all that. Before we get on into all that let's back up a little bit i right, into a conversation that they had and let's check it out right now period this is actually period do you understand that yeah do you really know this do you really yes then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan i'm tired boy ab hey yo let's go so i would like sorry. to get to, i would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is gonna be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't. I, like, I'm, I, no, no, do you understand that? Because cause that team, that unit, right? Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. Do you know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Bro, you with a white girl expecting her to be Coretta Scott King? I, you with this chick. This is this is Grace Jabari, I his girlfriend at the time. If you want to be with a regular chick, be with a regular black chick. If you're talking about be like Michelle Obama or Coretta Scott King, he gonna get to Michelle Obama. Be with a regular looking black chick. You with a regular ass looking white chick, expecting her to know what the culture is, bro. You crazy as fuck. Michelle Obama, Barack Obama's wife. I know I'm not. I I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, let me. I I I shouldn't have gone out, dude. You with an English or Australian chick and expecting her to be like, what the dog doing? Let me just lay it out for you, right? <laughs> if I am, I'm just gonna say this. My temper, my shit, my travel, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm gonna say I'm a great man, a great man. I am doing great things. I'm a great man, great man. Bro, you are doing great things, but if you have to tell a woman your work type thing, like, leave that chick alone. And let's keep it moving. All right, so this is going to be the, um, the, you know, the uh, video of the night. I don't think anything was done wrong, personally. I looked at it from a couple different, it, all of it's the same angle, but I looked at it from a couple different, um, you know, listen to people. It doesn't look wrong to me. I mean, she's probably drunk. He's putting her back in the car. She's probably resisting. He's putting her back in. And then this is where it goes crazy. All right. She's pursuing him. He takes off. He's taking off right now, all right? And she's, she's, I don't know how a jury looked at this and said that he was guilty of something. We're going to get to all that. And I just want to uh, <clears throat> put out there, the following morning after all this, he called the cops and um, 
she I, I'm not sure she had like drank a lot or something maybe drugs she was passed out in his closet and upon going back to his house he discovered her he had a maintenance worker go with him to the apartment he went uh, the maintenance worker witnessed what what was going on then he called the cops and you know so he didn't even have any interaction with her uh after this event but like I said, this is all we gonna we we gonna, we gonna bring it back around, all right? So this is the footage right here. You see him taking off on foot, trying to get away from her. She's she's in hot pursuit. Clearly, she does what she's supposed to be doing at the gym, kind of thing, because she is she ain't too far behind it. She's probably wearing heels and all that. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Yo, he dipping around corners, trying to get away from her. All right, let's keep it going. <laughs> so this is what's been going around on the internet. It was, um, this is, uh, supposed to be Jonathan Majors. Jamie Foxx is playing Jonathan Majors. Uh, what happened that night? You get your fucking hands <laughs> off me. You get your fucking hands off me. Yeah, I mean, to me, he's trying to put his lady back in the car. They either had an Uber or had their own driver. He's trying to put her back in the car. And, you know, it escalates to this whole big thing. It's been going around on the Internet. This is a parody that people made of it, you know. But it depicts what I think was going on. She was a little bit drunk. He's like, all right, all right, go back in the car. She's resisting. And then he's trying to uh, separate from the situation. And here she goes chasing him. And I'm sorry the brother had to lose endorsements, contract deals, his management. All of this is crazy over an incident that I knew months ago what was going on. But I was waiting to let the legal process take on, uh, do his thing. And... You know, we're going to get to it, what he's been charged with and everything. But, you know, real quick, uh, since then, he's found himself as Michelle Obama. He's found himself as, uh, who's the other one? He said Michelle Obama. Oh, Coretta Scott King. Here goes his Meg, Megan Good. You know, I was about to say Megan, Meg the style. Megan Good. Here she goes. And that's been his chick uh, throughout this whole process. I don't know if for... Um, optics he now has himself a black woman or you know because i'm not gonna get into that let's keep it moving all right so some people are saying this is megan fox you know riding hard for jonathan majors you know i'm just gonna touch on that so <clears throat> as uh recently uh, i believe as today recording this video jonathan majors found guilty of assault and harassment um one count of assault and one count of harassment. However, the actor was acquitted of two other counts of assault and aggravated harassment from a split verdict. All right. So I don't know. You can look at that video and say that he's guilty. He also that there was follow up footage of him with the police and all that. Ah. Yeah, the judicial system. I don't know. I don't know. This uh, it says a jury. It says jury. So it was twelve people, twelve of his peers. But to me, this one shouldn't have been. And he's gonna lose money. He's gonna lose uh, opportunities and all that because of it. You know. Jonathan Majors found guilty by a Manhattan criminal court jury of assault in the third degree and harassment in the second degree. And then down here at the Manhattan uh, DA's office, we are committed to centering survivors in all of our work. This, the evidence presented throughout this uh, trial illustrated a, a cycle of psychological and emotional abuse and escalating patterns of coercion. Far too common across many intimate partner violence cases we see each and every day. So, 
I guess they're putting into account that he might have been psych psychologically and emotionally abusing her throughout their relationship. I don't know. I don't know. This, this, this one to me was a miss by the judicial system. I don't know what evidence was brought forth in the trial that um, would have led him to believe that he was psychologically and emotionally abusing her. her. From what I see, going off the accounts of the night, um, now we have the footage where, you know, she's running after him in the streets. And we know what happened the following day. She's passed out in this closet. He goes there with a maintenance man and with police to find her passed out in the closet. I don't know what part of that, but apparently in this particular DA's office, they take into account... Um, psychological and emotional abuse i guess that they could have proven that i'm not sure i think that this one was a mess but if you stuck along the, uh, stuck around this long in the video as always i appreciate it and go ahead hit that like drop a comment join the conversation hit that subscribe button because the wave gonna keep crashing i still got my goal to hit for the rest of the year all right and um without no more let's get into the final clip who the fuck <laughs> pick steve harvey as the representative for all things black. Steve Harvey, let's keep this shit funky. Steve Harvey is on his third marriage. Mm -hmm. His third wife was mistress to his second wife. <laughs> Yet, black people have anointed this motherfucker <laughs> the oracle when it comes to black dating. Not even black people, black women. With that fucking um, Think Like a Man book. And y'all took that shit too seriously. Because since that book, I would say, started. Black women really, really, really. The mascul the masculization or masculinity of, of black women has increased since this book debuted. And I don't know why. I don't know why. But y'all black women going to continue voting Democrat. Going to continue uh looking after uh making sure mass is good and shit like that and y'all gonna continue looking up to steve harvey for uh the answers when it comes to relationship this nigga wrote a book on dating you on your third wife homie it, with all respect why can we pick a nigga that know what he's talking about not dl Hughley. married for 25 years same woman Steve Harvey. And now he met with Trump. Who give a fuck? Who give a fuck? All right, all right. That's where you lost me. But anyway, y'all be easy. Stay wavy.